Hello everyone, and uh, thank you for joining me in the forest here. Um, I, this is an update on just kind of what I'm working on next, which is photo two. So photo two is basically going to be the successor of my current photo stack, which is probably, probably my most popular stack ever to date. And a lot of photographers use it, love it. Um, but uh, guys, you know, it could be so much better. And uh, so I've spent a long time um, in photo two and I just wanted to run down a lot of the features that I've already added. And at the end, I wanna ask you guys what you wanna see in photo two. So the first thing uh, to get into is there are new thumbnail layouts. Um, and uh, to get technical, it's uh, ran off of the isotope um, layout library. Gosh, if you don't know what that means, that's okay. It just means that thumbnail layouts uh, will look great now um, for like the masonry layout, that kind of thing. Um, the next one is um, a lot of light box options have been added in photo two. And um, in photo one, uh, these light box options were applied to all groups, but in photo two, options are on a per group basis, which is pretty nice if you have different groups and you want them to have a light box in a different way. So that's kind of helpful. Um, also in photo two, the edit layout uh, is totally redone. Um, you guys know I love interface design and so now that looks super slick. I think you're gonna like that. Um, the next thing is thumbnails are now in the light box. A lot of photographers uh, asked me for this over the years and it's now there. Um, you click on a single image and all the light boxes will go at the bottom. Uh, light boxes, all the thumbnails of, in that uh, group of images will um, be little thumbnails at the bottom of the light box. And you can click on them, of course, and, and it will skip to that image. Um, the next one is there is a slideshow uh, feature now for the light box. So the slideshow combined with the thumbnails looks beautiful. That's all I gotta say. Um, also now, uh, random thumbnails. This was a feature that wasn't working so well in photo one. This now works solid, works beautifully, totally redone in photo two. Uh, the next thing is uh, there's a light box feature called full screen. You guys are probably used to full screen and like YouTube, uh, you have a full screen icon, you click that, it like takes over your whole screen. Well, that is now added in photo two in, when you're in a light box. Um, the next one is uh, when you click an image, another Lightbox feature is image sharing. So you click an image and you can share it on Facebook. You can share it on Twitter. You can share it on face on Facebook, on Pinterest. And that this, <laughs> that was a big deal. What this essentially means is images are, um, they create their own uh, URLs basically. Uh, they're, they're their own pages in a sense. And um, so when you share a link to a certain image, um, it will actually pull up that image in the light box um, when, you're, when, you're, uh, when you share that link, which is, it's really, really cool. It's really cool. Basically images are shareable now and they automatically trigger the light box for that image. It's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, the next thing is um, batch. Batch in photo one was kind of cumbersome to use, but it was the way of adding um, a bunch of images, tossing them on your server, um, but you had to sequentially name them. It was just not super easy to use, um, but it was the way of dealing with a large group of images. Let me tell you how Batch works in photo two. You take a folder, you drag all your images into that folder. You can name them whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Um, you put them in the Rack Weaver resources and then all those images will now appear um, in your batch uh, photo group. And you can have separate full size and thumbnails, uh, thumbnail images for each image in batch. Um, and captions are now taken from the image file name itself. So you have captions now in batch. Um, and also Batch now works with the gallery collections feature in Photo. You can add an image that will link to show the whole um, gallery uh, when you click on that thumbnail. 
Hope that makes sense. If you've, you've used gallery collections, you know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, so Photo 2 is looking excellent. I haven't done any of the marketing for it, like, you know, the product side, that kind of thing. Um, but I'm just in development. It's looking really good. Um, but right now I wanna ask you guys, um, since you guys made Photo 2 so popular, um, what do you wanna see in Photo 2? Uh, you know, what are those features uh, you've just been dying to see or things that would make it a little easier? I don't know, um, because now is the time. Uh, I would say if you're going to ask for like Flickr integration, long story short, it's a bag of hurt with how photo works. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I don't want to get crazy with explaining this, but importing from other galleries out there online is not probably gonna happen, um, but I will keep trying. But that said, Batch is way, 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 way nicer to work with. I, it's way nicer to work with now. So that's it guys. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and um, I look forward to uh, releasing Photo 2 probably sometime in January. Okay, talk to you guys later, bye.